Hello friends, we are still not employed by a Fang company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do a very interesting lead code problem, interest interval. And if you see the number of companies that have asked this question, it's really amazing. Uh, the companies like Google, LinkedIn, Amazon, Robinhood, Facebook, Uber, Apple, Twitter, Microsoft, uh, ServiceNow, Bloomberg and Goldman Sachs. Like these are, if you see the description of my channel, these are my dream companies that I want to get a job of. So that's why I'm doing these questions and I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code medium problem. And essentially we are given an array of non overlapping intervals. This is a multi dimensional array. It's a 2D array. And at any given cell, essentially we are given the value like start and end which indicates that there exists an interval between those times now our aim is that we need to insert a new interval into the list into the array of intervals that we are already given and we need to we need to maintain this non overlapping uh, quality of the intervals so if we try to understand this this with an example uh, suppose over here we are given a set of intervals like 1, 3, 6, 9. So we are given an interval like this 1, 2, 3. This is already given. And we are also given another interval like 6 to 9. And we need to insert a new interval called 2 to 5. So if I draw it on paper, it would be something like this. So 2 would fall over here and 5 would fall over here. And this is the new interval that we are trying to insert in this original existing interval. So how can we insert this new interval? Well, the answer is actually simple. Essentially, what we are going to create a new interval is that, that we will start an interval at position number one. Then from one, we will have an interval all the way up until the position number five. And then we will have another interval from position number six and all the way to position number nine. And this would be the two intervals that we will have to take care of. Now, the thing is in this problem, we can clearly uh, identify that why did we come up with this approach? Because we wanted to make sure that we do not we do not have any overlapping intervals. So that is why when we found out that this is the existing interval and this is the new interval that we are trying to achieve, if we wanted to insert this one, there exists an overlap between these positions between this two and three. So that's why because there was an overlap, we actually chose to merge these two intervals. And we created a new interval like this. And for this one, this had no concern with the existing uh, new in with the coming coming of new interval. So that's why we left it as it is. So let's see that what could be the different uh, uh, approaches we can take what could be the different scenarios and how we need to behave in any single scenario of them and essentially that would be our solution so first of all if suppose we are given a number series like this and we are given a list of uh, intervals like this that there exists an interval between this value 2 to 4 there exists another interval between this value 8 to 10 and 13 to 15 now we let's see that where different set of intervals can be entered. So suppose first of all, we are given an interval like this, that is not overlapping with or that is not in conflict with any existing interval. So let's see that what would be the scenario in th that case. Suppose we are given an interval like this, that from zero to one, we are given an interval like this. Now, if we see this new interval, it has no sort of conflict with any of the existing intervals. If we wanted to add this to our uh, array of intervals, it would be just pretty simple. We simply create a new interval like this zero to one and then return whatever all these values are. And this would be our answer. So we, we should be we would be done in this case, there won't be any issue. But suppose if this is not at the first or at the beginning of the intervals, if this is at the end of an intervals, so suppose this particular uh, new interval that we are trying to enter, suppose we are given some interval like this, that uh, from 16 to 17, we are given an interval. So suppose we are given an interval from 16 to 17, something like this. Now in this case, what would be the approach? Uh, essentially, we would be doing the same thing. What we would be doing is we would be transferring this interval on top of whatever the existing intervals we got and how we are going to do it. Uh, basically, we are going to start traversing towards the original given input. We are going to see that, okay, where is the starting point of this new interval? 
and where this new interval can fit inside the existing set of intervals that we have. Now in order to check that, essentially what would be helpful? It would be helpful if we had a sorted uh, set of intervals and in this scenario all the intervals that we are given they are already sorted. So that is why which, which works in our favor. So which means it becomes really easy for understand that where this new interval we wanted to uh, sh shift into and in this case uh, so we will start traversing we will first see that okay this is the value 2 this is a, this is 16 we don't care so we move forward uh, again we are done with this interval now what is the next start point of this interval this is 8 and this is 10 and this is 16 so again it doesn't matter there is no overlap so we can put this in the answer again this is 15 this is this is 13 this is 15 and this is 16 so again there is no overlap so we can put this in the answer as well and then we find out that after 15 there are no intervals and we need to enter this new interval uh, interval 16 and 17 so we simply add it over here from 16 to 17 and we add this to our uh, array of answers as well and we return these four as a uh, new in new set of intervals now suppose somewhere in the rather than this one this uh, these are like easy scenarios where we are given at the beginning or at the end suppose we are given something somewhere in the middle so suppose we are given a new interval that we have to take care of uh, something like this that it is from 5 to 7 this is the new interval that we are trying to insert what should be the approach in this case again we are going to repeat the same case over here this, this is the value 5 and 7 and now we're, what we are going to do is we will start iterating over this given input we will see that okay first value is 2 and uh, the end of this in this interval is at 4 so this is 2 and 4 and the new interval starting point is 5 which means there is no conflict so far so we would add this to our set of answers now from this 4 we reach at this 5 and at this 5 is the starting point of this new interval so we check in our original set of intervals that from 5 to 7 does there exist any conflict so from 5 to 7 actually there is no conflict in our original interval so if there is no conflict we simply add a new interval over here from 5 to 7 add it to our list of answers and because we have reached the end of our new interval right we are we have reached the end of our new interval which means what this dictate dictates is that from this point forward there cannot be any existing interval that could be causing any sort of overlap with this uh, with the arrival of this new interval so whatever the answer or whatever the list of intervals we are given beyond this point once we have already entered this new interval we can simply add these to our answer array and this would be our solution so this would make our lives very easy and that is how uh, we we would be able to handle this scenario as well right now the so far the all the three scenarios we saw we entered the value at the beginning at the end or somewhere in the middle but in all the cases there was no conflict between existing intervals with the new with the arrival of new intervals now suppose the new interval that we are trying to enter uh, that new interval is something like 3 to 8 suppose it's something like this that now we need to take care of this scenario where we are handling this new interval and which is from 3 to 8 so what should be the approach in this case well the approach is actually quite simple uh, we will start iterating over our input we will find all the intervals so first we start we find that what is the start point of this interval so the start point of this interval is 2 and what is the end point of this interval the end point of this interval is 4 now what is the and every time with the end interval we are going to compare the start interval of the new uh, new inter new interval that we are trying to insert so the start interval of this one is 3 and this one is 4 which means that we know that we will have to enter this 3 over here and there exists a conflict now since we have identified a conflicting scenario what should be our approach well our approach should be simple that we are going to take a look at this particular interval and we are going to take a look at this particular interval now there exists a conflict because there exists a conflict we are going to check the starting points of both the intervals now in terms of starting points of both intervals this one is smaller than this one so whatever is the smaller we are going to treat this as the starting point of this new interval that we are trying to enter because there exists an overlap uh, amongst these values 
so we are taking care of the overlap so that's why this would be our starting point this would be the start of this new interval and we are going to drag this new interval up until the end of this point so up until the end of this point when we come we find out that it ex it comes up until all the way to value number 8 now in this scenario we did not had anything in the middle but if we did had anything in the middle that would have been merged by this new interval right but the thing is even when we come at this position number 8 we see that actually the position number 8 is start of another interval so which is this one so if it is start of this interval we cannot just treat this as a separate interval i mean what i'm trying to say is we cannot have an interval like from 2 to 8 is one interval and from 8 to 10 uh, another interval because this 8 is actually a conflicting point and it is a because it is a connecting point these two intervals also needs to be merged so because this 8 is a connecting point we are going to merge this interval with this uh, new interval that we are trying to create and essentially this interval from 8 to 10 will also be dissolved by this new interval and we would have an answer like this in this scenario that uh, we would have a new in newly created interval from 2 to 10 this would be for one interval we have and this would be another interval because remember now we have already entered this one which means all the values beyond this point are not part of our concern we, uh, concern, we can simply add it to our uh, list and in this scenario the second interval would be uh, from 13 to 15 and this would be our answer that we are going to return so this is one conflicting scenario and uh, I mentioned that how we are going to tackle it so essentially the different test cases in this case we we can have is that we can either have a scenario where the item lies somewhere between beginning or at the end where it is not conflicting with anyone or it can be existing somewhere in the middle where it is not existing not uh, overlapping with any other interval or it can be a case where it mm, conflicts with some intervals with one interval or more than one intervals in either scenario what we are going to do is the moment we find that there exists a conflict we are going to see that what is the start point what is the lower value amongst these two so because the lower value is two we are going to start this new interval starting from the position number two okay now for the end position again we are going to do the same thing we are going to check that what is the end position of this existing interval and what is the end position of this new interval and in the end position we will have to uh, check the maximum value because the interval we are trying to create should be the size of biggest interval that we could create which is not overlapping with any other interval so that's why we would have an interval that is maximum amongst these two ending values so these two ending values the value is 8 so we would have an interval from 2 to 8 so far but the thing is this is not the end yet because when we come at this 8 we will still have to check for the conflicting scenario so over here we have we would have the starting we would have two intervals like this and in the two intervals we have the 8 value as the value number 8 as common so we are going to merge these two as well and in this case we are going to choose the biggest value we can find as 10 and we are actually rather than having an interval from 2 to 8 we would actually have an interval from 2 to 10 and this is the critical part to understand and this is basically our solution essentially we are using the greedy approach but this is all we don't need to do anything else and if we calculate the time and space complexity the time complexity in this case would be actually big o of n because at, at any point for this new interval we would need to find that what what should be the entry point of this new interval and then we will check for the conflicting scenario if there exists a conflict scenario we will find a way to put it there if there does not exist any conflicting scenario well good for us uh, in terms of space complexity well for the space complexity it would also be big of n because we will have to create a new array of list of intervals that we are going to return so we will have to create a new two dimensional array something like this in this scenario from where we, the answer would be 2 to 10 and uh, 13 to 15 so this would be our new array that we are creating and we would be returning that so that's why space, the, uh, that explains the space complexity and uh, yeah this would be the solution now the question is where can you use these kinds of approaches like what is the point of having this question in the, at the first place and actually this is a very interesting question it has a lot of practical applications practical applications is like suppose you are trying to design an, an app where you need to maintain some sort of calendar 
or we you need to maintain scheduling so the and these are very practical very real life applications uh, google mail outlook all the companies they all use this mechanism they all use this mechanism so if we know that where we need to insert an interval where we are not creating any conflict it could be a conflict between shifts of two employees working for a factory or it could be the interval between two trains uh, going through a station so like yeah these are real life practical exams and that's why the uh, that justifies the number of companies that are asking this question so first of all we are going to initialize some variables and uh, we are going to create a new start and new end for the given in, uh, new interval we are also going to create two pointers uh, left and right and left would be at the 0th position inside the given intervals and right would be the last uh, the size of the given intervals we are also going to create a linked list to store all the output and then we are going to convert it into the array so now first of all we are going to add all the non overlapping intervals that come before the new start so we are going to create a while loop okay now inside our given list we will need to add the new interval so in order to add the new interval we will have to check two there could be two possibilities there might be an overlap or there could not be an overlap so we will have to take care of both of them so first we are going to create a parameter called interval and we are going to uh, store all the value inside this parameter now we are going to check the condition that if the current uh, position where we need to insert the new interval does there exist an overlap or not so if there is no overlap we can just simply add the new interval so if that's the case we can just simply add the new interval if that is not the case which means there exist an overlap so if there is an overlap we will have to first of all check that what entry we like what should be the uh, starting point and ending point of the overlapping character and that we can define by choosing the minimum out of the starting values or the maximum out of ending values so first of all we are going to uh, add the last value we have in uh, our uh, linked list inside this new interval a variable that we created and now we are going to check that what should be the end point and we would add the new entry to our link uh, link list okay now we might have to merge all the elements that are after uh, that came because we added this new interval so we will take care of the merge scenario and if there exist an interval we will do the same thing that we did before so essentially we can just repeat this process uh, yeah after this loop runs uh, we should have everything stored inside the linked list so we can re return the linked list but we will have to convert the linked list to an uh, array and this should be our answer let's try to run the code it seems like our solution is working let's try to submit this code oh we will have to check for the this end variable here okay looks like our solution is working and it's actually pretty fast compared to a lot of other solutions and even in terms of space complexity we are also saving a lot of time a lot of space as well so i would be posting this in the comments you can check it out from there